Hey guys, what's up today? I'm with Isabel vs. Cannon Dark Animal Crossing vs. Zelda. Smash Bracket episode, or the episode 5, because I decided to skip some boxes, because they're going to remake that one, I believe. So I'll watch the remake when it comes out. Now, Ink is, uh, Ink is taking a rest, so Sir Frost vs. Me Too on Saturday, so it'll get hopefully you feel well, Ink, but. Anyway, let's subscribe to the channel, uh, subscribe to Smash Bracket, um, and watch the ultimate video first, and let's begin. Bum. What would happen if the great King of Evil Ganondorf and the hard-working Secretary of Animal Crossing went toe-to-toe -to -toe in a battle to determine Ink in This is Smash Bracket, a show dedicated to solving that exact question. If each playable character from the Super Smash Bros. series was entered into a giant fighting tournament using them at the peak of their strength, who would be victorious? The rules for this series are on screen now, with a link for a further breakdown in the description. With all that in place, let's take a look at today's match between Ganondorf and Isabel to see who will advance on to the next round and who will be disqualified. Let's get into it. Ganondorf. Once upon a time, in the Ganondorf. faraway land of Hyrule, there lived a child Ganondorf. He was born as ill in his matriarchal tribe for over a hundred years, and the rightful king to the throne to rule over the Gerudo people. His entire country lived in the middle of a vast desert that laid under a scorching sun and a bitter, sandy wind that would beat his people down every single day. Hmm. When night fell, a frigid gale pierced their homes and always brought the same thing. Death. But wind. One that brought greenery and life to people more fortunate than his own. So rather than being faced with suffering and ruin, he saw a land of prosperity. And so, like any good king, he dedicated his life to finding a better life for his people. Despite his noble intentions, though, his methods were less than ideal. Hmm. In the aftermath of the great Hyrulean Civil War, Ganondorf saw a chance to use the tragedy as an opportunity to swear false fidelity to the King of Hyrule. This brought a newfound trust from the royal family and allowed Ganondorf to move freely throughout the land of Hyrule, and after many, many attempts, different timelines, and transforming to a few <laughs> different evil pigs and puppets, he eventually gained access to the Triforce, a powerful artifact capable of granting wishes and increasing the wielder's power to unimaginable levels. He yeah. first power, granting him the blessings of the goddess Din. This hmm. bestows upon him near invulnerability and a never-ending cool magic to draw upon. Through his power, Ganondorf can shrug off being stabbed through the chest, having towers crumble on top of him, and he even took flames from the dragon Valu with no visible injuries. At yeah. his peak, Ganondorf is so legendary Master Sword could scratch him. It was hmm. only with the upgraded version, the Golden Sword, that Link stood any chance against him. Even then, it took silver arrows, powerful enough to one-shot nearly everything in the game, to kill Ganondorf. And he was still able to survive several of these. With this hmm. power, his physical strength seemingly knows no limits. Even upon transforming into a tiny bat, he's strong at the top of this pyramid. The Triforce oh, wow. of Wisdom unlocks the powers of Nehru, giving him access to legendary mystical abilities, such as amplifying his innate magic. He's able to use energy blasts, teleportation, transmutation, transfiguration, and more. He's also able to conjure minions and even resurrect them from the dead. Ganondorf is such a powerful sorcerer that he's even been able to and drought to Hyrule while trapped in an alternate dimension. The last piece of the Triforce grants Tower of Feyror, the soul life. Given that its only other wielder was Link, who wasn't nearly as gifted as Ganondorf or Zelda at channeling the power of his Triforce, the Triforce of Courage's true power is still somewhat of a mystery. Yeah. One of the most about Ganondorf, though, is his evil heart. He's the personification of the reincarnated hatred of the god Demise. And under his relentless search for the Triforce and hunger for power, he's become a truly terrifying opponent. During this quest for power, Ganondorf yeah. truly became evil and a ruthless, ruthless warrior who would slaughter anyone who stood in his way, even children. He's a oh, power-hungry, wow. master of manipulation. Ganondorf's life, he had zero regard for anybody's life but his own. Ganon's wake of destruction and brutality seemingly know no bounds, mm -hmm. and to cross him spells death for all but the strongest foes. Oh. Now let's see how he stacks up against his foe, Isabel. Alright, Isabel's turn. Let's see. Isabel! 
upheaval, and gifted leaders can bring a town from poverty to prosperity. It's often the everyday workers who support their city through small <laughs> contributions that serve as the lifeblood of their hometown, such as Isabel, the hardworking and kind-hearted secretary of Animal Crossing. Much like Ganondorf, she came from rough beginnings, as she and her twin brother Digby had to live out of a cardboard Digby. box while growing up. She didn't let these humble beginnings define her, though. Despite coming off as a little ditzy or clumsy, she's a master of engineering from over 19 different universities, wow. which she obtained just for the joy of learning. Under her wow. direction and engineering expertise, her town has created pits of fire, a system, a huge building that holds the remains of many dead, mighty beasts, and a portal to an alternate dimension called the Dream what? World. That is all, though. Isabel has also helped in the creation of a machine capable of drilling through the ground. Uh, She's also yeah. recreated mystical wonders like Stonehenge, and even panels capable of harnessing energy from a giant ball of scorching gas that, mm. if destroyed, could wipe out an entire solar system. <laughs> Despite her cheerful demeanor, though, Isabel has a dark side that hides beneath the surface. Throughout her difficult childhood and pursuit of architectural knowledge, she gained years of fighting experience with her brother Digby, and Where even acted did? as a bully intent on destroying his property. While some lesser life forms need to increase their power with magical artifacts, it increases her mental acuity with handcrafted drinks specifically designed to increase her energy. And she even drinks it with a substance extracted from the bodies of her villagers. Her unbridled rage comes out when seeing people destroy property. And she can even summon her Isabellistic form as she drops her gentle facade. This is a power right mind would ever want to face. And she is no stranger to dealing with some pretty disagreeable people, including the standoffish pig, Ganon. So whether it be her oh. high IQ or the dark individual lying deep beneath the surface of her cheery exterior, Isabel is a rough matchup for anyone. With all that said and all done, right. though, let's get into the fight and see who will be disqualified and who will advance on to the next round of the Smash Bracket. I mean, okay, man. come on, <laughs> we got it, Dorf. Uh, I'll just, hopefully he doesn't go, though. Oh, let's see. But first, do you want to see early works in progress uh, for our all right. really cool rewards thing? There we go. Fine. Oh, hey, cartoon animation. Oh, no. Oh no, oh no. Oh my god, it is just the key. Oh come on, come on, don't go too hard on it. Oh no. Spare her. Spare her out of all the fighters. Oh, come to this side on here. Oh, boy. Oh, come on. You don't have to go that hardcore on her. See, she gets up. Uh, five. He likes fire, probably. <laughs> wow, they all become best friends with his Diana becomes best friends with Doom Guy and Isabel. And there you go! Although Isabel was eventually able to pacify Ganondorf through one of his weakness right. to be distracted by mundane objects, she I... mysteriously surrendered by waving a white flag of defeat. Whether it came from an intentional move to spare Ganondorf from her Isabellistic form, or a subtle manipulation to win over a powerful ally, we may never know the answer. Mm. But when all is said and done, Ganondorf is the winner, and will be moving on to the next round of the Smash Bracket. Next time on the Smash Bracket. Alright, who's next? Hey, Jigglypuff. Versus... <laughs> Alright, it's the Puffballs of Doom. Or will draw reaction to next time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.